What exactly is the moon? This luminous celestial companion that dances across our night sky, how long has it been there? From what cosmic furnace was it forged? And what otherworldly materials sculpted its cratered face? To understand the moon's origin, we must journey back in time, 4.5 billion years ago, when the universe was still young. Our Earth was a chaotic molten world, surrounded by an array of cosmic debris. The seeds of the moon were already present, hidden in the shadows of an unformed solar system. Through the ages, astronomers, philosophers, and scientists have speculated and theorized about the moon's birth. Early ideas ranged from the moon being a sister planet to Earth, to it being captured by Earth's gravity. In our quest for answers, lunar samples were collected and computer models were built, but a definitive explanation remained elusive. Then came the giant impact hypothesis, a theory that unveiled the violent and fiery birth of the moon. It posited that a Mars-sized body, Theia, collided with Earth, melting and vaporizing vast amounts of rock. This cataclysmic collision created a debris disk, setting the stage for the moon's formation. Within this turbulent aftermath, the concept of a synestia emerged. This hot, spinning, donut-shaped mass of vaporized rock, believed to have briefly existed following the collision, holds the key to our understanding of the moon's birth. The synestia cooled and condensed, giving life to the moon we now observe. The story of the moon's birth, as intense and dramatic as it may be, has left us with evidence that resonates with familiarity. The isotopic composition of the moon's rocks is strikingly similar to that of Earth's mantle, sharing specific ratios of oxygen, titanium, and silicon isotopes. This profound similarity not only bonds Earth with its celestial neighbor, but cements the giant impact hypothesis in our understanding, providing tangible clues to a shared origin that binds our world to the cosmos.